Assuming you are done with your work, Anime Studio gives you access to many different options when it comes to exporting your animation. To access these options, simply go to File, Export Animation, or Control E if you're on Windows, Command E if you're on a Mac. From here, you have access to a variety of different features. First, the start and end frame basically specifies what you want to render out for this project file. By default, it will render out all the frames that you have set on the timeline. However, if you want to be sure, you can always click the entire animation button to make sure the entire animation will be exported out. If, however, you just want a section of animation rendered out, you can choose which frames to do so. So let's say your animation starts at 60 and ends at 300. You just want that portion of the cartoon rendered. You can certainly do that with the start and end frame. Next, the output format allows you to output your cartoon in a variety of different formats. You can do still images, Photoshop documents, AVI, QuickTime, and Flash. AVI and QuickTime are video formats, so these will be useful if you want to make a DVD, put this on YouTube, or display this at any other venue that requires video. Flash is a rich media content document that can be streamed and viewed on web browsers. However, some mobile devices do not play Flash, so make sure you know what your audience is before you render out your animation. Out of all the video formats, I would choose QuickTime as it seems to deliver the best results. Next, for your render options, you have anti-aliased edges, which when checked will make things look smooth. Uncheck it to make things look rough, such as your lines. Apply shape effects. This is if you applied gradients or shades or any of the other effects in your style panel to your shapes. You can leave this checked to bring those into the video when you render them out. The same is applied for the layer effects. If you have any layer effects like shading or anything like that, leave this checked to bring those in to the video. Render at half dimensions in half frame rate will cut the dimensions or frame rate in half. This is better suited if you just simply want to test the animation out and don't want to spend a lot of time rendering. The same goes for reduced particles. If you use the particle effects in Anime Studio and you just want to test it out, you may want to select this so it takes less time to render out. You'll have less particles, but it may be enough to give you an idea of what your animation will look like. Extra smooth images gives you extra smooth images, higher quality images. It takes a little bit longer to render, but it usually is worth it in the end. NTS safe colors are used for broadcast to make sure that your colors are safe within North American broadcast standards. Do not pre-multiply alpha channel is used if you want to bring your assets into a video editing software and do compositing. And finally, enable multi-threaded rendering basically speeds up the rendering process, so it's usually best to leave this checked. Once you've done all that, click OK, and now you'll be prompted to find a place to save the video as well as name it if you wish. And once you find that place, hit Save. And now a new window will be brought up. Now, your compression settings will vary depending on the file type you used, plus which codecs are installed on your computer. So for instance, in this case, I have all these codecs right here to choose from. From these, I would recommend you either use Animation or H.264. From there, you can choose your frames per second. I would leave this alone as it tends to pick up on your default project setting frame rate, and you probably don't want to mess with that too much. And down here, you can choose your depth and your quality. So you can choose how many colors you want. If you want a higher quality, you're going to want to go with more colors. However, that will, of course, increase the file size, as well as the quality will increase the file size the higher it is. And once you do all that, you can click OK to render out the project. Now, rendering can take some time depending on how much detail and how many frames you have in the project. So just be patient and let it do its thing. And once it's done, you can preview the video in the location that you saved it to. And that is how you export animations from Anime Studio Pro. 
If you have any more questions regarding Anime Studio, please check out the official Anime Studio website at anime.smithmicro.com. I have more Anime Studio 9 tutorials out there, so stay tuned for those, and I'll see you guys next time.